Okay, hi again. Um, I didn't wait to see if anyone's gonna watch this video. I'm just gonna finish it. At least for today, I'm gonna do an hour of painting. And, um, yeah. So this is what we have so far. A very simple, very rough. The colors are not exactly where I want them to be. This is very green. I want it to be more like, I don't know, maybe like um, reddish -y? but I don't want it to be like that. I still want it to have some kind of greenness in it so that it has some kind of like layering and depth. Mm, yeah, like I said, it's very spontaneous, very uh, make it as you go. I'm gonna switch brushes now because everything is covered and I'm gonna paint much slower. I'm gonna dip it in some solvent. My brush is dirty. Obviously all my brushes are dirty, which is a very bad habit. Super bad habit. Okay, so let's make like little red. Very violent. Put some white. That's not what I wanted at all. Let's make it more red. Add some orange in there. Okay, so in the previous video, I was talking about a red highlight. I think this is gonna be it. I think. I don't hate it. Maybe. Someone was mowing their lawn before. I really hope it didn't show up in the video. Sunday is uh, mowing your lawn day. But Sunday is like my only day off, so it's gonna be what it is. No, no questions asked. And if I wanna take my art career seriously, I have to do it, no matter the circumstances, right? Right. So it's nice, this color is mixing with the back, uh, with the layer underneath because it's still wet. But since it's thin, it's like not influencing too much. And because this brush is softer, you can see it's like leaving streaks, which I don't like. So. So that's why I'm doing like a motion because it's not finalized Dun -dun -dun. What is there to talk about? I wonder. I'm obviously not comfortable speaking right now. Since it's my first time. But I'm forcing myself, which is important. They always say your first video is going to be shit. So it's going to be, it is what it is, right? I don't know how 
if you want that. Maybe. It's also really weird painting on a table. I usually paint on an easel. But uh, like I said, this is my recording space. And it's very temporary for now. I don't have a studio. I'm doing it in my bedroom. So it's not that bad. I can't complain. It's pretty, pretty chill. What I'm doing here, I'm still using the same color. That's a cute little ear. Cute. I just leave it there. Oh, I can talk about art I don't like. I really hate those paintings where they pour paint on the canvas. I hate that. That's the tackiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how popular they still are. Maybe it was very popular, like uh, a couple years ago, especially when like TikTok and stuff were happening. People were like pouring paint and doing like these slow motion things. That was atrocious. <laughs> so much I, I'm gonna get attacked for sure I hate hate people that make drawings or paintings of their face or a face and the other half is an animal usually a tiger or a wolf I hate that and I hate it and I hate the oh it annoys me so much the people that do it they think they're so deep but it's something that's been done so many times and it's so tacky. I don't understand the fascination with like uh, transforming into an animal. Like, um, I don't know. It's like bestiality. <laughs> But at the same time, you do you, right? You do you and it is what it is. I don't know, I don't like it. It's very, um, well, I don't know, I don't understand how everyone has the same thought. Like why does everyone think it's a good idea to do that? That's what kind of shocks me the most. Did everyone get together and they collectively decided, hey, we're going to make half of our faces animals? Uh, maybe I'm rambling too much. What else don't I like? I, I really liked um, the people that melted those crayons. <laughs> That was popular once upon a time. That was fun. Good times. How long ago was that? I think it was a, a long while ago now. Hmm. 
What else? I think I want to do a video of how it was to apply to college and like uh, my portfolio and like to show because uh, uh, I was really bad in my opinion I was pretty bad I thought I was good which is kind of sad I thought I was good but I was really bad <laughs> and um, I mustn't be so great now either because I have gotten rejected a couple times recently to shows and stuff. But I, I really think it's because my work is inconsistent. I make so many different things and I switch it up pretty regularly. I just I just like so many things. I have a series of drawings that are based on the cinema. And the arcades of the cinema, they're very colorful, they're very saturated, they're very, um, I don't know, futuristic, I guess. I don't know what the right word is. Whereas my paintings right now are very, uh, I don't know, dark, very, uh, s not scary, very like, um, indifferent I guess like I like the theme of the fire it's fun to paint fire it's very uh, spontaneous I guess like my process maybe it's subconscious I don't know I don't really have many people that listen to me talk I'm also too shy to talk and ramble and I don't really I don't feel like I have many people that have the same common interests as me. Because I like um, I like anime very much. I like painting very much. And the people who paint usually don't like anime because there's like a whole fight against illustrators and fine artists and painters and watercolorists. Because each person thinks they're better than the next, which is... I guess kind of what I was, the sentiment I was sharing before when I was talking smack about the other forms of art. <laughs> I'm doing it again, I'm so bad. I don't know, I should, um, I should think about it. I should look at myself from the outside to see why I'm so hateful without reason <laughs> so I'm not trying to copy the color of my skin I'm trying to make like a, like a color that adapts to this background, but I don't know, looking at the video, it's actually pretty similar, which wasn't intentional. I really like this fire, not this fire, sorry, this uh, red highlight right now. I'm going to try to integrate it better, though. Ooh. It's kind of exciting to think of who would watch my videos. At first, it'll probably be, like, people I know who want to make fun of me. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. I'm sure there's going to be some uh, people who are into it. future I'd like to do a, like a, a Skillshare video. I was planning one at one point. I had uh, written down a, 
a script or a, like a lesson plan, I guess. I had planned it, but I just, I never went through with it. I got, uh, I got shy, I got, uh, started second guessing myself a lot, which is honestly something I do often, but I've been trying so hard not to do that anymore because I have so many like ideas and interests and so much energy to try out these new things that I have planned but I, I don't know I really often second guess myself I second guess myself and I feel guilty after that I didn't follow through with what I had wanted wanted to do and I also I've been telling myself like uh, like why not like why can this person do it and I can't you know which is also bad, I'm comparing myself to others is really bad. I don't know, I think about it often. Where will I be? Where am I going? Am I always going to be second guessing myself? I shouldn't though. No one should. Like, the internet is the best opportunity to try new things out without any, like, dire consequences. Like, someone's gonna beat me up because I'm painting? No. Who even cares? Actually, I wonder now. Am I gonna get threatened? Probably. I also think I have pretty good thick skin. I guess we'll see. It's really fun being able to see what it looks like on video because from this angle where I'm at there's so much glare and it's so close I can't see the full picture but on the video it's like trace it it's very patchy Well, it's still patchy, but we're gonna go over it. No problem. Let's just fill in the rest of the chest. Let's make it more orange. Another YouTuber I like is Holly Brown. She makes her own. Uh, she does a lot of things. She doesn't do like one thing. I've always wanted to read the, the comic that she's created, but I never got into it. I think it's called Purgatory. I don't know, she's fun to listen to. The Casper's fun to listen to. I used to religiously watch uh, Markiplier and PewDiePie, but um, I find their videos became too curated and very like um, they had a formula where they knew what worked, what uh, their viewers would want to see, and they would just repeat it. And at first, like even Netflix does that now. They know like the the 
I don't know, the algorithm, the formula that's gonna make a popular video, a uh, popular TV show. So they create their own content and they make their, their TV shows like the Umbrella Academy, I'm at the first season and it's very like, like a cookie cutter good show. I'm not surprised, I'm not, uh, I'm not wowed. I like it, but I'm not wowed. Just gonna put some solvent. What else? like when you can expect what someone's gonna do it makes them boring it's like when actors are typecast it's, it's like okay we know this person can do this they do it well okay it's good to see someone succeed every time but we're never gonna see someone shine which is something you don't see often And I like seeing people shine, especially when they have a lot of potential. Um, oh, ready to aim it. <laughs> yeah, I said it last video. I my computer can only process, not even process. There's only enough memory for 40 minutes of video. So if I go over that, it's uh, not happening. Oh, it's very quiet. Feels nice. It's very rare that it's quiet in here. My house is full of noisy people. so I'm just going to use this one now. I think it's going to be for this, which isn't as important, I guess. is filled in again. So since everything's filled in again, we can go with details now. Should I go get a smaller brush? Yeah, why not? Let's go get a smaller brush. So Raphael. We're gonna start with the eyes. 
the eyes are gonna be. Well, we're gonna try to stay in the range. socket what does that look like it's pretty good yeah oh my god I got dirty the eye socket and the eyelashes will be this color It's kind of hard to talk in pink. Maybe we'll make it darker after. I think that's nice. Okay, I like the dark. Next. this olive color. Do I look olive in the video? <laughs> Okay. 
Let me fast forward this part. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Oh, I have visitors. I have visitors. Here, I'll bring visitor. If y'all imaginary audience can wait. This is Louis. <laughs> okay, Louis leaving. Louis and Apache are my sister's cats. Louis doesn't like me, but he came to my room. And he always comes and scratches himself on me and rubs his cheeks on me, which I know is a good thing. So, I don't know what his love-hate relationship with me is, what's his deal, but I don't like it. <laughs> On the other hand, Apache's a little angel, and I love her. She's very nice. I make reels about her since TikTok is going to disappear or something. I don't know. I never got into TikTok. I tried. Actually, when it first um, was announced, I think, or I guess when it first appeared, maybe not, but at that time, I had made an account, but I never uploaded anything. So, when Instagram Reels appeared, that's when I started uh, making videos. But Louis is very hard to film because he, his behavior is unorthodox. Whereas Apache is very, like, she acts like a cat. Louis kind of acts like a dog or something. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. No, dogs uh, Dogs are obedient. Louis is not obedient. <laughs> yeah, he's very, um, he's very like that. I don't know. I think I'm a cat person. But I really don't dislike dogs. I've always wanted to have a wiener dog, but I'm not allowed to get a dog or a cat. I don't know why we have cats now. Even, I guess, because it's temporary. So if you know it's temporary, it's like, makes it okay. Oh, we're approaching 40 minutes again. So I'm gonna have to cut it short. Oh, I can't wait till I get a new computer. Well, at least I have two videos done. Do I have to edit them? I really hope not. I'm so bad at editing. And it's so time consuming. Oh my god, my mom is screaming. Okay, we're gonna end it. Bye. Thanks for watching. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'll finish it on my own without recording it. And if you want to uh, follow me, you can follow me. I guess uh, YouTube is subscribe based, so you can subscribe to me. And um, I obviously have a, a Facebook artist page. I have an Instagram account. 
I have um, Patreon, I have uh, a DeviantArt. I just tried to make everything to see what sticks. Um, so we'll see what sticks. Thank you. Bye.